All right, so today I'm going to be starting Mario Odyssey, which I have not played since the game's release. I beat the game when it came out back in 2017, but I haven't touched the game ever since then, which would have been like mid-November when I last played this of 17. So it's been six years. It's really weird how it's been over half a decade since the game has come out and also since I last touched it. Because it certainly does not feel like it's been that long since I last played it, but it has. No Mario. And he's out of here. Goodbye. A lone hat. Oh no. That was custom made, buddy. Time for my wedding with Peach. Jealous Mario. And thus begins the plot of the Mario movie, which also came out this year, which is a little weird to think about. Huh? Cappy. Yeah, it's really weird to think that it's been six years since I last played this, and since the title came out. So another little caveat with this is that I might be talking about some things that I briefly touched upon in the Red Dead 2 playthrough that I've done on the channel. And that is, if it all seems disjointed, if you're watching like this and then that and then this and then that, or things in between, that is because the entire Red Dead 2 playthrough has been completed and finished at this point in time, I'm recording. I'm recording this post as kind of a fill-in playthrough in between Red Dead Two, so it's not all just Red Dead Redemption Two on my channel for a few weeks. And I really want to play through this again. It's been a long time. I don't remember some aspects of this game. I, for some reason, remember some of it. Whoa, Mario moves really fast in this. That's the thing, I ha I've only played through this once, so Mario's physics are going to be a little strange to me compared to 64 Sunshine or Galaxy. And I just finished Mario 3D Land on the 3DS, so this is very fluid compared to that. <laughs> Yeah, so if there's any weird continuity things with my dialogue versus the Red Dead 2 dialogue, that's because I've already played through Red Dead 2, and this is being recorded after. The game still looks pretty good. It certainly looks like a Switch game. I remember when this came out, it looked insanely great. A little bit of that has worn off over time, can I roll? How do you roll? Isn't it crouching? Yeah. I have no muscle memory for this game, so I'm going to pretty much be learning on the fly. Long jump. Who are you? You're not one of them, are you? Hey, Cappy. So sorry for running away like that. You startled me, and, and I do startle easily. I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. 
We've been under attack by the same monster that gave you such a trouncing. And to make matters worse, the fiend was kidnapped. The fiend has kidnapped my little sister. Oh no. She turned into a tiara. I'd hope to give chase to that monster in a ship of my own. Unfortunately, all of our airships have been wrecked in the attack. Although now that I think on it, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. I could get us there if only I could reach the top of Hat Top Hat Tower, which is being guarded by the monster's henchmen. You know, it seems we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can't help those two. Fancy. <laughs> Not your style. How about this? Go, go, gadget hat. And now we're Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Yeah, Mario has some very fast... Like, his, his general movement feels kind of similar to the other games. But man, does his forward motion have some speed to it. Like, this guy can run. Welcome to Bonneton, Pride of the Cap Kingdom. Do you know anything about the action guide? I'm going to just say I know. Be careful out there. And I'm also, now that Red Dead 2 is done, which I'm very glad for, it was a very fun game. I had a great time remembering and playing through and revisiting those characters. The story's fen phenomenal. But doing that for over two-ish months, two and a half months of playing games, I'm kind of ready to move on to something a little bit more freeform. Something different. And this is very different. <laughs> I've also put out a bunch of games. There's actually a bunch of games in front of my TV right now that I have laid out that I'm considering playing as well now that Red Dead 2 is done because Red Dead 2 is a big playthrough. I started it last year, kind of forgot about it because of other things, and now that I've come back to finish it, it took up a lot of time to do it because it's a big game. It's a very big game. I did plenty of the side stuff. Ooh, Mario's getting covered in soot. That is some nice detail. For me standing on top of a burned building. Oh, ship. All alone on that tower, I do hope my darling boyfriend is alright. A lot of coins. I know the coins are good for unlocking costumes from Mario. I don't remember much else. 
My airship, my beautiful airship, ruined. Oh, you got insurance on that, buddy? I don't think the other moons are going to start showing up until we fight those guys up there. Well, it's just what's his face. It's the dude in the it's the rabbit in the green that has the spiky hat, I think. Birds, and they all have hats. They're so dapper. I'm pretty sure you get a moon for lighting up all of the lights in town. There's more over there. I'm just going to light them up just in case and it's like coins or something else you get. Each of the airships seems to have a light on them. Oh god, water. Yeah, we can't light up the ones on this bridge, it seems. Yeah, it just gives us coins. I'm not aware of any other lights. That looks to be about it. Another poster. Oh, there's stuff down here. Isn't this where the Sphinx is eventually? We can't get in there right now. I think that's where the Sphinx shows up later. This game is pretty much a collectathon for the moons, so there's a lot of there's a lot of sub objectives that you can do throughout here just in the environment to get moons and other items and such. I can see the monster's minions from here, but all I can do is float hopelessly and watch. I think that's all the lights. I don't think we really get anything from them unless we gotta get these ones at the end too. Oh, come on! <laughs> Nope, doesn't look like we get anything. Or we didn't get all the lights somehow. Inside Top Hat Tower. Yeah, the, uh, the athleticism of Mario in this is a lot higher compared to, like, Galaxy. Frog! When you're being birthed from the womb. There's even like weird 
graphics of frogs. I'm born. I'm alive. Oh no, I lost the biological gambit. Yeah, it would suck to be born as a frog, wouldn't you think? You're lucky and were born as a human, but you could have been born as like a pigeon or something. That would suck. I don't know, maybe pigeons like being pigeons. <laughs> they have no idea what the concept of humanity is, but... <laughs> they are none the wiser. They eat McDonald's wrappers and... shit on cars. They're living the life, I think. Frogs. They get to sit in a scummy pond full of, I don't know, E. coli and bacteria. And eat random things like dragonflies and grasshoppers, I guess. They become friends with turtles. I was in you. <laughs> oh no, the frog died. What the hell? Okay. Right, there's a second life bar if we get one of those. I don't think there's much else up there for me, no. That seems to be about it for here. Maybe we should hide somewhere. I left my darling in the plaza, I do hope she's alright. Maybe we should run away. Don't run away, fight! That monster has ruined everything. Bad days do happen, but you've got to keep a stiff upper brim. Can't you do something to help us? Who could be responsible for this? I'm so scared I can hardly move. I know guys, it's the end of the world. I say, do be careful. That monster up there is long-eared henchman. Oh, that monster's long-eared henchmen are still at the top of Hat Tower. Top Hat Tower. Okay, are there any more lights? I don't get anything for lighting up this town's damn electrical system, huh? Alright, let's go up here. Right, these guys, the Brutals. <laughs> the boss warned me there'd be a fella with a mustache coming along. Guess we ought to introduce ourselves. We're the wedding planners for the happy couple. They call us the Brutals. We got that treasure we needed. So we ain't got no more business in these parts. Of course, roughing up goody two-shoe meddlers was in the contract. So I guess we still got a little work to do. Bring it on, Hattie. Ah, crap. I actually got hurt. Nah. Thank you. I'm not going to do too great at this. I wasn't even too great at it in Mario 3D Land. <laughs> All right. He's down.
Why do you think exploding like that feels like? Is it ecstasy or just insufferable pain and ripping and tearing? I don't know. I, th I think it might be both at the same time. Man, that moon is huge. <laughs> Super Mario Odyssey, the title card, PNG file. <laughs> Cascade Kingdom. I think Mario's into it. I think he likes a little a little electricity in his system, if you know what I mean. Our first power moon. Woo! Yeah. What a ride, and we made it to the Cascade Kingdom. Sorry. Still a bit amped from capturing a power line. Must collect myself. There should be an old airship somewhere around here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, this music. The adventure begins. And we almost died instantly by falling off a cliff. Great start. Yeah, it's really crazy. I still remember the original trailer. The two trailers for this, the pre-release trailer and the one where they first announced this game. There was so much hype around this title. And it was so... Man, I can't really explain. Over the years, the Switch's library has kind of dried in its appearance. And... I know a lot of people's opinions about Breath of the Wild have changed since Tears of the Kingdom came out. I'm not the biggest fan of Tears of the Kingdom. I just It just didn't click with me, and I was very excited for that game. I, I played it like three times, four, I think like, like four or five times. And it never clicked. I still haven't beaten it. I'm still early in the game to my knowledge. I haven't even gone to the underground areas yet. But I just don't really care. I. I it, the vibe of the game just doesn't hit me as well as it does with Breath of the Wild still. I can go back and play Breath of the Wild as much as I want and still feel like it's day one. Tears of the Kingdom just doesn't capture that for me, man. And I think that's I think that's the directorial tone of the game. Because Tears of the Kingdom's main emphasis is stress, and Breath of the Wild's main intent is loneliness, and the loneliness aspect makes things a little bit more chill in some ways, and I appreciate that quietness more than Tears of the Kingdom, where most of the time when I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom, I'm just constantly stressed, and that is something the developers have vocally said was kind of a main point of their directing with the attitude of the title was to kind of keep you going, get you motivated to do things, try different things, have a lot of threats. And for me, that is not what I really want out of a Zelda game like that. So, Tears of Kingdom's fine, but I do far more prefer Breath of the Wild by an insane margin. It's not a question to me. But yeah, Tears of the Kingdom's all right. This game is just like pure adventure. It is just feel-good adventure.
Multi Moon atop of the falls. But yeah, I'll I'll shut up about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom and such. But yeah, a lot of a lot of Switch games have like the the pre Switch era mystique and fascination and anticipation for the next gen for Nintendo was so lovely. And I'd say after after year one, mo after this game came out, most of that mysticism and like excitement, mainly mainly the excitement, pretty much vanished. It was very odd to me. I was like, yeah, Mario Odyssey came out, and then after that, there was not a whole lot of great titles in 2018. 2019 was kind of bland. There's some good things here and there. Can I get this? Can I catch it, please? No! <laughs> I just lost it! Man! Ain't that just the way? I can't believe it! It's bouncing around and I lost it! Purple coins. One thing I'll need to pay attention to is just not falling off things, because Mario has some speed to him. Right, that's the thing. If I shake, if I shake the Pro Controller, because that's what I'm using for this, not the Joy-Cons, he can throw his hat, but he can also do things like climb faster. The T-Rex is up here, right? Yep. I'm a bloody T-Rex. King of the prehistoric jungle. Goodbye. Mario cartoon characters cannot handle realistic Tyrannosaurus Rexes. It's too much for him. I like how the same. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the chain shop real quick. If you looked at that, you could see that. It was stuck in, t like, a frame-perfect shot of both it still on the ground and it dying. There was, like, a shadow frame in there. I was going to say, there's a moon over here, isn't there?
Chain Chop, could you please just stay out of the way? I'm trying to do something here. Oh, man. I'm going to have to, like, chase it around, aren't I? I can't even do that. Hey, go over here. C come over here, bud. Come on. Be a good chain chomp. Thank you. Nice. This is way more complicated just to break these things than I thought. Come on. Come on. Let me do this. Be a good chain chomp. Come on. Come on. Okay, go around. Man. Come on, over here. Get over here. Come on. What the heck? He didn't launch. Thank you. That did nothing. I thought it was going to do something, but it did nothing. Great. Oh, there's... Oh, I mean, there's still more, but... I don't think this is going to do much. You get one for putting the hat on the nose, don't you? Careful. Maybe? Mario's frames are really low for some reason, like his animation frames here. I don't know. I'm just gonna continue. Whatever I tried to do, if it did anything, it didn't work out great. Big Mama! What's this? You say you need to repair some silly old airship. Well, I could never part with any of my precious power moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chain chompikins. Not chain chompikins, no. Can I... Oh, I gotta knock the hat off, don't I? Huh? I knocked the hat off. Oh, that works. Oh, come on. Well, there goes that. One more. Okay, got the hat. I just noticed she's enraged. Lay off the pastries, miss. Give me those moons. Not yet. I like how this magical crystal barrier is still up. The game does not want me to leave while those are still here. I 
think that's it. Oh man, there's a moon all the way up there. I don't know how to get that though. So let's just leave. Uh, we're gonna do a few other things first, Cappy. Looks like we have all the power moons we need. Yeah, I know, but I want to do other things. Can I not, dude? Don't tell me how to do things. Ooh, we got the parrot. I forgot about this guy. What is the secret you're seeking? I know it. I know it. Ha ha. I can't tell you. I'll give you a clue. Dinosaur nest, running wild. It's hiding somewhere in no peeking. Go find it. Go find it. Skaka. Squalala. We are off. Oh, that worked. Top a big stump. Moon. I'm so used, I'm so desensitized and used to hearing that sound effect from the GDQ runs of this game, to be honest. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -ba -bow. It's a little weird just to be playing the game and hearing that again. Okay, so something with the dinosaur. I know that there's a lot of things we can do with the dinosaur. So let's grab it. This thing's movement is fine, but it's a little weird. Can I break this as the dinosaur? The di uh, Mario is actually kind of stuck here. Like, I'm not moving anything at all. It's just stuck in this animation moving forward. I can't move back or anything. It's not letting me turn. Oh, it's letting me turn to the left. Yeah, okay, thank you. I was like, oh no, <laughs> did I soft lock as the dinosaur? Like, not really, but... For the dinosaur's sake, is it soft lock? Got the moon. What's back here? All right, we got a warp pipe. Got some coins. What's in here? Oh, one of the mini rooms. Little puzzle rooms, huh? I forgot this game had these. There's a lot of them. Now just stay still. There's a few of these? Okay. You had to move. And just stay still. We're playing billiards here. There we go. Oh my god, there's another one. I like this. This is a fun little minigame area. I view it as a minigame, but it's really a puzzle. Okay, so if I shoot him that way... Try that. Nice. 
That looks like it's a hit. Oh, yeah, nice. That was great. Moon. There's a door down there. I'll check that out after I see what's up here. Just coins? Mm, there's some more coins over here I missed. Okay, another puzzle room. Okay, that's as far down as it goes. Just trying to see if there's any secret moons hidden anywhere. What happens if I go too high up? I eventually fall off, but... Yeah, I kind of thought so. There's nothing behind. That works too, I guess. Just a different alternative route for it. And I nearly died just then. <laughs> that could have been bad. I think I heard the shell get stuck. No, it fell down. That's what it was. Hidden Chasm Passage. Nice. Secret Moons. Because the normal moon's at the end of this. Yeah, I don't exactly remember if the normal coins or the purple coins give us costume upgrades or, like, outfits. It's one or the other, and I'm starting to think maybe it's the purple that does. Yeah, I need to get up there, but that's going to be a little tough. Oh, so close. Try one more time. Got it. Where does this go? Oh, neat. More coins. A true secret. Cat Peach. Oh, 
Yeah, this is a great first level to get your bearings. If my memory serves, there should be a star over here. Oh, star. A moon. There we go. We don't even have the Odyssey yet, and we have so many moons. Obstacle course. <laughs> I got hit by the the slowly invisible, well, disapparating, whatever. It vanished and I still got hit. I almost have all the purple coins here too. There's only 50. There's a toad. What's with you? Hi, Mario. My toad voice is horrendous. To help out Princess Peach. I'm doing a survey! <laughs> it almost sounds like some bad Muppet character. <laughs> Alright, I'm not... Uh, no, I'm good. So I can use regular coins to help get hints from Toad if I want. I have used an out-of-bounds camera via the no clip. Ooh, that's good to know. There's... There's a bill, uh, a doorway. I was gonna say building for some reason. A doorway behind the T-Rex. I have used the NoClip website online to view this whole, most of the maps in this game out of bounds. And honestly, there's not a whole lot outside it. Like these are huge maps, but there's not much going on aside from the scenery you see here. It's very impressive the scale, though. Because things, things like that, those, those are massive, way off in the distance, but there's nothing really going on with them. They're mostly just texture sheets with effects for the waterfalls and such. I like how simple this moon was and I just didn't get it before. <laughs> Alright, so there's something over towards the T-Rex that I missed. Is that something right there? That is for post-game, I believe. That's something. Oh. Oh, that makes that a bit easier. Wait, that door should be right here. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this. Right. I'm guessing the point of this one is to kill all the enemies. I'm big and strong. Time to stomp on all of you. The death of this adorable species at the hands of a T-Rex. Nature is scary and brutal. None will survive. Some of them over by the trampoline have survived because the dinosaur is too big to get them. Okay, that's that. Can I get these guys with Mario? There we go. Oh, 
Also, I like how the moon counter will expose every day that I'm recording these sessions of Mario Odyssey. <laughs> I normally like to keep that a little vague, but I can't hide that here. I think that's it for this whole area. I don't know if there's anything else. It doesn't seem it, so let's go. <laughs> let's go hit our head against a rock. I'm not looking to 100% this right now. I just wanted to do as much as I really cared to, which seemed to be most of it, to be honest. I feel like there's something up with the Triceratops head, but I couldn't figure that out before. Let's go back up there real quick, just back up towards the boss area. Yeah, there's nothing really here. I thought there was. Maybe there is, and I'm just not finding it. Anyway, there's that big cube over there, and there's also a toad. Oh, and there's a gymnastics course. That's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Oh boy. Straightforward, but... You can lose it if you're not pay uh, paying attention. Can't interact with this yet. This is for the end. Oh, that is another moon. And the, uh, the purple coins are over here. Still missing six of them, which means there's two more batches of three that I haven't found. There's one of them way over there. Yeah, I really like that about this game. Just you being in a location and looking off and then seeing where you can go next. It is, that's a philosophy I really enjoyed about Breath of the Wild. Yeah, just three more if I could find them. the trampoline is for, specifically, but... Alright. It is there. Is there anything behind the T-Rex? No.
There's Captain Toad up there. I'm gonna go talk to Captain Toad because I believe he gives me a moon. Fancy meeting you here! That's right, it's me, Captain Toad! Ooh. <laughs> that might be one of the roughest voices I have ever done on the channel. Jesus, I did not feel good even doing that. I'm traveling the world looking for power moons. I'm, I'm done with that. There are so many rare fossils around here. I jump for joy, but, you know, you can't jump. Yeah, you found a power moon. Thank you. Gimme, gimme. Nice. Which kingdom do you think I should visit next? I don't know, Toad. I'm not really aware of there being any other kingdoms yet so far. I I'm just Mario. I don't have a spaceship or anything like that that can travel around the world yet. You're spoiling things, Toad. You're spoiling. Is there something over here? Hmm. I feel like there should be more things around the waterfall area like this. There's a hat thing here. Oh god, Mario, do not fall, please. Okay. Yeah, I've already got this one. Pay a hint, Toad. You're telling me there's one in here still? Because there's nothing else here. There's one still in here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. That goes up forever, it seems. Well, where would it be? I thought that this seemed a little bit too big to be just a one moon affair, but... Oh my god, there's a lower level! I love how open it is over here. It makes it feel like the developers didn't finish this. Yeah, this is a really weird area down here. There's a warp pipe. Ooh, that was kind of jank. So, 
Let me take the T-Rex down there. Maybe I have to destroy all of the breakable things, like the rocks up here. Oh, it was in there. All right. I'm still going to try and break all of these as much as I can. Just to see if that's a thing. Okay, it does respawn. How do I get out of the T-Rex? That is a weird thing to say. Okay, I think it's L and R at the same time. Right, I think I'm done in here. So I'm just gonna book it. Oh, there's the last purple coins. That's not what I wanted, but sure. What do you mean up there? What do you mean, Toad? I've already been up there. I'll check this one last moon out before I go. Well, before we get the Odyssey. It's not like I'm done yet. We're just getting started. Yeah, this is one of those games where the more you the longer you play it and the more you play it, the more you're going to get into the the rhythm of the movement. What does this thing mean by Not that one. It says it's underneath that. Is it up in the sky? No. It's in here, isn't it? No, it still shows it being over here. It's at like the corner over here. Is where it shows. It shows it being like right here.
for some reason, the game is now really lagging on Mario, like his animations. Okay, is there something under the map? I'm gonna hit this guy real quick. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. All right, this is odd. Oh, is it in the pipe again? Yep. I think it's something in here. Unless it's something underneath this, which I don't see. No. Nope. Nothing above. Nope. Really, there's more to this. I was going to say, I believe touching that stuff is death. Okay, it just subtracts my coins. That's great. That's just great. You know, no real threat of death. Just take your money a little bit. Take five bucks. I'm going to try knocking these guys into these blocks as best as I can. That's one. It's not what I wanted. I think it can reach it from there. The one I'm hitting now. Yeah. Okay, so we got those. What about behind us? And that's the thing, I don't know if this is doing anything, really. I'm giving it a shot. This guy's having some real issues getting this one in. There. Were there any on this one? No. So I've destroyed all the breakable stones here and there. But what about everywhere? Yeah, that's... and then it just ends. Wait. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> there was more! There was a shitty little secret room over here! <laughs> Alright! I can't believe it! This one's gonna be more annoying, I can tell- I can see that, but... There we go.
And just to cover all bases, I want this one to hit that rock over there. Thank you. All right, now I know there's nothing to do with those. Is there another little room over here? Those smart Alex. It's like you're so excited to get the moon, you just don't even turn the camera or anything to see that over there. All right. Oh, jeez. Don't die now, Mario, please. All right, let's get out of this place. So many moons. Nineteen. Already. I'm skipping through the text and I shouldn't do that. We have enough we have enough moons to get to the Sand Kingdom. Why don't you take the helm? Just select the Sand Kingdom and press A and we'll be off. Yeah, if I skip any of the text, sorry. Force of habit with a lot of games. Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. So, how do you like me as a captain's head? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Now then, where were we? That monster's name is Bowser. Well, we'll chase him down in no time with the Odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some of our useful skills. Ground pounding. To smash blocks or enemies below you, or to flatten out bumps in the ground, nothing beats a ground pound. Okay, okay, some tutorial stuff. Yeah, action guide. Uh, I'm, I'm good on the action guide. Thank you, Cappy. We should discuss the Sand Kingdom, too. As you've no doubt pieced together, it is entirely covered in sand, and as you can imagine, it gets kind of hot. Mm. There are some ruins there, and an artifact called the Binding Band that links people forever. It's like a wedding ring. And this Bowser seems like just the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity for his sham wedding. The Sand Kingdom. Atop the highest tower. Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey a complete success. But why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. Huh? The top of that tower is shining? But how can that be? Could it be a power moon? Hey bud, what's your problem? Oop. You good? 
so cold, everything just froze all over sudden, all, all of a sudden. Okay? What's going on? Come on, taxi. Been waiting forever. Uh. Tostarina Town. Oh my god, he's dead! <laughs> oh no, 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 that guy owes me money! <laughs> he's dead! Look at him! I'm, I'm sorry, man, but you're not getting your money. I'm frozen to the core. No one will buy our freezy treats now. Welcome to our shop. Everybody's so cold. Use this closet to change any time. Oh, yeah, there's the purple coins and then the normal coin stuff. Okay. Okay. I can't buy Mario's pantaloons yet, but I can get this crazy outfit. Wait, no, I don't want to. Oh, okay. Give me a power moon. I'll buy one of these. You know, I'm gonna keep Mario in this outfit right now. Wait, I wanna check out the purple coin stuff. Yeah, these are the regional things, so I'd... I can get all of them if I get all of the purple coins, but... So for the Cascade Kingdom, I can, but... For this place, I'd need to get all the purple coins. Still. What do you have to say, Squawks? Oh, it's Takatu. Yeah. Not too helpful. I hear a moon. I think it's up top up here. Yeah, it is. It's like right here. There it is. Okay, he's just dancing. Some purple coins frozen in there. I like that. You ever get lost here? Just go to the mission objective.
That looks like most of what I'm willing to do here. Okay, Mario, get out of the power line. I've got myself a notion. If we if we listen to each other's hearts, I'm like, what are the lyrics to that power line song from Goofy Movie? If we listen to each other's hearts. And maybe love is the reason why For the first time ever I'm seeing it eye to eye Speaking of Disney, I was considering getting that newish Disney game that came out recently. It's been out for like a year. It's called Disney Dreamlight Valley. And the physical edition of it for the PS5 just came out. And I'm not going to get it. I'm kind of disappointed. It's not too great, it seems. I watched some footage of the PS5 version. And it seems really... It seems like a game that would be fine on the Wii. You know, that kind of mid-tier quality of a title. There's a lot of missing animations. There's no voice acting really in it. And it's just kind of one of the... It's one of those bargain bin games, from what I can tell from everything I've seen. Which is disappointing, because it's also 50 bucks. And has in-game microtransactions for things. So, for me, a game like that, it's a, it's a Disney Animal Crossing-esque game, and it just doesn't seem very good. I'm sure the gameplay itself is addicting and alright, but it just does not live up to... The price tag, from what I've seen, both in the gameplay and in what I would want out of it. Also, another big issue is that it seems that the soundtrack to the game is very intensely copyrighted by Disney. So, I'm not risking that at all, because most of the videos I saw of gameplay had large sections of the game muted. So, that's a thing. And I'm not wanting to have that kind of risk or annoyance. Is there somewhere I can use the bullet bill? Out here. There's this gap here. I don't know if I just skipped a bunch of stuff. I kind of did. And I'm gonna die? No, I'm not. It's not instant death. Good. Oh, there's a moon out there, though. And now we're just out in the desert. What is this? Why do we use this? It's like a nut. Oh, 
Oh, there's the Sphinx. We can go see it. It's like we're really in Egypt. Okay, screw the nut. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the thieving monster desire from this land? Sand. He wants a handful of sand. You are correct. Anywho, proceed. <laughs> I love the swoosh it does. It just... It moves horizontally across the mountain range. <laughs> uh, this is some very Olmec architecture in here, just like design work. I know that this is the boss that we fight at the end of this area, but it, it looks so Olmec, it's nuts. You got anything else to say, Sphinx? Have you not been asked enough questions yet? Let us see how you do with this one. The one who gallops across the sand. How many coins are required to get on its back? Uh, like a billion. 30? Oh, I got that right. You are formidable. Okay. That lizard knew. He knew if he got caught by me, I would turn into the lizard, and I would then learn of the lizard society and the lizard people. These are secrets they must have. Okay, where are we? There's some purple coins down there. I'm like half tempted to go get them, but they're not the biggest thing in the world right now. There's something in there. There's really a moon in there, huh? Oh, you jerk. so close to trying. I was so close to that. Oh, that's fine. Never mind. Need to get a bullet bill so I can get up there. Mm, that's not gonna work. Get over here. I don't even know how that happened, but sure. Yeah, there's some lag going on with the game. Alright, I want to get up here. There we go. I got some health from that, too. So, where are we going next? 
There is a moon way out there on those pillars. I don't know how we're going to get out to that. Oh, there's the lizard, the frilled neck lizard thing that glides or whatever at the top of the tower. I believe that's how we get that one. Mario is cold. I think we're good over here for now. I just ran right into that thing. <laughs> Is there anything over here? Does not look like it. Okay, what do we have here? That goes down. Oh, that's how we came up the first time. Nope, that didn't work out well. Oh, that's one of the Moai from Super Mario Land. Huh. I forgot they were in this game. You can capture them with the hat and do stuff. I like how I said that vaguely. Do stuff. What kind of stuff, Mario? You can do many things. Anything your imagination can dream of. Oh boy, these are going to keep happening then. Habitat. You make it sound like a zoo. It's saying something like either shade or sea. Sea. Or shade. Either or, it works. This is a piece of a power moon. Oh, we got to run around as this funky guy. This is fun. Oh, we can't run fast, though, if we put the glasses on. I was going to say, do, does 
this stuff stay here if the glasses are off? And yeah, it's just invisible. I like how the birds are breaking everything here. That's great. Can I jump as this guy? No, it seems like I can just do that. So the birds are there. That's fine. Yeah, there's all of this up here. Okay, and the last one's up over there. I don't think I really need this guy anymore. Yeah. Just be a little careful here. This would be fine if I could, like, get a head-on look at Mario, but I can't. So I'm just going to follow the birds. Yeah, that was all right. Now he shows up. He's up there. Showdown on top of the pyramid. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. What's your deal? No, 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 my beautiful sheep. The three of them have escaped and now I'll never get them back. That's good. That's bad. All right, there's one. Get your sombrero butt back in your pen. Don't hurt yourself. Emo sheep, come on. Ah! How dare you? When you hurt yourself, you hurt others too. Don't be selfish. Don't do this. Now, now, now think about what you're doing carefully here, sheep. Come on. Think about what you're doing here. There you go. Where's the next one? There's one over there. But well, we'll get to you in a second, sir. Oh, no. No, you don't. You're not running away. Get your butt up the sand dune. Come on. Move it. Get along, little doggy. Come on. No, don't run into that. You goof. Man, they run fast when they get hit by something. That lizard just turned into a coin. It didn't run away or anything. It just poofed into a coin. Oh, God. Well. 
magic. We got wizard sombrero sheep out here. And they're also slightly emo, it seems. I don't know what the deal is, but I need this guy to go into his pen so I can get my money. Well, my moon. Thank you. All right. Now, time to talk to the new donker. Hey, blood, how's it going? Hey, yo, Weebletar. I've got a customer waiting, but from the looks of this mess, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. No, you're not. This... Your taxi's kaput. It's kind of bouncy, though. Oh, hey, it's... the it, it's it, A multi-moon. We can't get to... Yeah, Cappy. <laughs> Oh, look, it's the final boss of this area. Well, no, it's not the final boss. It's the pre-boss. I, I forget exactly. Do we fight one of the Brutals here? Or no. I don't remember us fighting a Brutal here. I saw a weird couple go into the pyramid. I think they're going to see our celebrated binding band. Yeah, like Mario runs so fast in this game. Look at this guy. He's sprinting. He may be short, but man has legs of steel. There's a platform all the way out there at the edge. Oh, there's one of the birds that has the moon. The birds are always difficult to my memory. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, I, re I remember this. Okay. Let's see how this goes. That was dumb of me. I I was trying to boost, but I exited instead. Well. You live, you learn. A second away from death. Oh, we got hit anyway. I was going to catch that bullet bill and make it look so cool, and I failed. You can never look cool playing a video game. Who am I kidding?
Right. I don't think we missed anything. Can I look as Mario? Yeah, that just goes back. There might be something I missed, but nothing that I'm aware of at the moment. That's the top of the level. Okay, that is unavailable. There's like an indent in the back down there. But I gotta wait for the... The bird flies all over the map to my memory. It's way off there. I can see it. Well, you're not gonna be able to see it now, but it's like by the oasis way over there, I think, at the moment. So we're gonna be sitting here for a moment. That coin taunts me. Yeah, it looks like it's just the bird and whatever that is at the back side down there. The most annoying part is that if and I screw up. Yeah, I'm sorry, Peach. I see you up there. If I screw up getting the bird, it's just kind of gone. Well, we're going to be sitting here for a little bit until it arrives. Because it's going to go all over the map. There it is off in front of us, actually. It's heading in our direction right now. Maybe... It's coming over here on its cycle, but yeah. So a few days ago, I got back from another Chicago trip. This is pretty much going to lead off of, yeah, it's going over the tower heading over here. I got back from another Chicago trip. It was a good trip. It was only a few days and I did a lot of stuff and I didn't have any real problems. Normally there's always like one annoying thing with a trip, but there was no issues this time, so I'm very happy about that. I'm going to shut up and focus on the bird now. I believe it flies over the land here. On this roof. That might make it easier. Got it! Yeah, slap that bird! Slap it! Imagine just being a regular bird, just like, oh, this is a nice day, I'm gonna glide over this building, and just getting backhanded by Mario out of the- out of nowhere. With his Mickey Mouse gloves. It's like, that's what you get! Yeah. Ah, uh, the Chicago trip was alright. I went there specifically to see the Melt concert. Melt is a kind of psych rock band-ish. They're, they're a lot more... They're not like Pond or Tame Impala or other stuff that would be psych, like Gum from Australia. They're, they're a little different. I like them a lot. They are... Very good. I recommend them. It's Melt with Two Ts. They're from Vancouver, Canada. They sound the music sounds very Polynesian and Pacific. And I really dig that because it gives the psych rock more of this spacey Polynesian vibe, and I really, really vibe with that. So I got to see them perform at a bar concert, and they were fantastic. I thought they were great. When, when you're standing in this bar, in this concert lounge, in this bar, you just, with, oh, it was so good, man. Just the, son sonically, it was so good. 
About like a third way into the performance, some girl who looked around my age, I think had a little too much fun because she fell on the floor and hit her head. And I'm not sure if that was due to just an accident or drugs or something because you know that kind of stuff's going on in a place like that. Plenty of people going in and out of the bathroom, quite a lot. <laughs> But you know, you just kind of you just kind of ignore that and just have a good time unless you're someone who for some reason thinks that that's part of the culture in which case uh have fun with that. Just don't hurt anybody else. But yeah, overall the concert was great. I got to talk with the guys. before the performance and I bought a sweatshirt and I bought another piece of art of one of their singles. This one was for Another Quiet Sunday, which is my favorite single off of the new album, Eternal Embers. And they signed it. So now I have two art prints because I also got an art print through the pre-order of the new album which in turn, I also got their first album with it in a double pack. But I, so now I have a signed, uh, full band signed copy of one of their other art pieces from one of their other singles. I forget which one it is. I think it's Within You. And Another Quiet Sunday, I have as a full band signed piece of artwork from the concert. So. I have two full band signed pieces of art, which is very nice. I like it. And they're very passionate about what they're doing, it seems. From me talking with them, they seem super into what they're doing. And I hope things continue to go great for them. They seem like good lads. Oh, crap. The location for the bar itself for the concert was in the middle of nowhere, too. You get off a freeway, and then you drive, like, a mile into this industrial zone, and the whole place, it's, it's like 11 at night, and the whole area just looks completely gray, and everything is warehouses for, like, a mile. It's really sketchy. <laughs> And then out of nowhere, this kind of normal bar is just on like a side corner. You're just like, oh, that's the place. It's like you're playing a PS2 game and you're driving through an area in a game. And then you see one area that's very well rendered and detailed. And the rest of it's just like gray slabs of front facing buildings. Cappy. All right, I don't think Bowser's going to be able to handle the level of my drip at the moment. Look at me. I look like a million dollars. Right now, I have $980 in Mario's money. I almost have enough for Mario's underwear, actually. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs>
Oh no, here come the brutals. Looking for the binding band chumps? Too bad. The boss has it now. And you guys ain't invited to the wedding. Oh, it's okay, so we fight her. And then I guess we fight the Olmec hands boss. Okay, so how does this work? Mario, sometimes Mario's momentum's a little too much for the game. so far. Here's the big one. Got him. Nice. Woe upon the Oh, never mind. I guess we don't find the hand fight the hand boss until later. I think pyramids are supposed to do that. How odd. The inverted pyramid is floating and it's gotten so much colder. Is this more that Bowser's doing, I say? He does make trouble, doesn't he? I don't know why I'm starting to give Cappy, like, a little bit of a British tilt in his voice. Oh no, the undead are rising. It's gotten so much colder! Oh no, it's the guy who still owes somebody money. That's where the nut from earlier needs to go, then. It's very far away for that. Alright, I can head inside. Dance! 
Oh, I was about to start snapping along with it. I guess not. There's no cooldown with this, it seems. I could just constantly, like, do this. I could keep having him try to instantly bring out the guitar. This looks weird. <laughs> All right. Yep, okay. I almost have enough money for the... Oh, man, there's another... Wait. I've already got the bird once. Does it have more? Does it have another one? Oh, whoa, okay. There's a wire going all the way up here now. That's nice. Saves me the trouble. Not today, undead creeps. We're going to the center of the earth. Underground temple. Yeah, you could say Olmec's a little bit of a cold character. He's got a chilly personality. He's frozen hearted. The ice physics in this are actually very good. That was not what I wanted to do, Mario. What the hell? Well, I just ruined a whole lot of stuff with that, so... I'm kind of tempted to kill myself. We're just, we're just gonna go do the boss fight. We can come back for that stuff later. If we need to. Wait, no, we gotta stay on this one. I say we just beeline it for the boss at this point. There he is, deepest underground. Take ring. No, I didn't. It was that jackass who's like my my friend, but also I hate him. He's called Bowser. He keeps trying to take my girl.
Oh no. Stop quit hitting yourself. You know, that is a weird relationship of Mario and Bowser. It's it's almost the same as Sonic and Eggman sometimes, although Eggman is ten billion times more evil than Bowser is. Like, Eggman is one of those few video game characters where I'm just like, if this guy... This guy is not, like... He can be funny, and he is a character, but my god, is he actually, like, a real threat of a character. Okay... 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 Yeah, I was kind of trapped in there. That's two. I don't know. I forgot what I was talking about. Well, I don't know where I was going with it. So, uh, Bowser, Bowser's, like, friendly with Mario more than Eggman is with Sonic, but Eggman as an actual character and his person, he is so evil. Bowser's just a bit of a doof. Got him. And Mario has now slain another god. Now the entire world balance in this area is going to fall apart. It's so hot now, but I do suppose that's what we were trying to accomplish. If we keep at this page, we'll catch that Bowser in no time. We do have enough power moons to reach the next king. Oh, do we have enough power moons to reach the next kingdom? If you want to check, put me in the globe. The Odyssey needs 16 more. 16 more moons? I mean, I guess that means that we can do stuff at, like, the Hat Kingdom and stuff. More things around here. I was like, geez, we, we have a lot of moons already, but it wants so many more. Oh, let's follow the dog. This one leads us to a moon. Because he's a good boy. Good boy. Oh, he got the hat. Nice. What you doing this time? A coin. No, you keep Cappy. He's not mine anymore. Is the dog going to follow me anywhere on the map now that this has happened? Because it's trying to deliver me the hat again. I just felt the controller rumbling, and that led me to that, so that's cool. Uh, 
There was some other things we could do at that building that was way out there on the corner. There's a button here now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta do this all in one go. Man. Oh, that's brutal. Why didn't it warp me over here? Yeah, that's brutal. I don't know why it didn't warp me over here. It's, I don't believe I have to touch a sign for it to make me, like, come back to an area I'm near. It should just be the nearest one. Mario, what are you doing? All right, I'll catch one of these guys and give that a shot. Yeah, that worked. Mario, don't bonk now. Come on. Thank you. There we go. It's like bonking is not something we really need right now, man. It is of the utmost importance that we fulfill our duty to get our moons. Right, we should be able to get that one on that platform way out there. I don't think there's anything else up here. Uh, no, there is. Whatever this is. This moon was sentient. So I have mixed feelings about having it now. Where's the statue for this spot? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Do we just have to sit here for a bit? 
I don't know. I see a moon down there and a cage that's now there. That wasn't there before. I don't think we can jump to that. I'm not really gonna... I'm half tempted to try. I'm stupid and we're gonna try because I want to get that moon over there anyway. So, yeah, here we go. We can actually do this. Oh my god. All right. So how do we get up there? Really, you had another moon inside of you. This darn bird. No! Oh, I wanted the long jump there, but he didn't do it. There's no way to take these guys out of here. I don't believe there is. I was thinking maybe I could take one over to that area we were just at where I died, and it could reveal some hidden paths, but I don't think we can take them out of here normally. I think I can just use this guy to get up there, maybe. Let me see. Glide on. I'm gonna try to glide to this thing. I don't know if this will work. It just did. The Jaxi Ruins. Flying, 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 scree! Yeah, it doesn't look like I can use the Jaxi yet. I don't get why. In the meantime, I can bring this nut back to town. It's gonna be a bit of a walk. There is straight up a Koopa Troopa over there. I'll talk to him in a bit. Yeah, after the Melt concert... I went to, well, not after, but like the next day, I went to my local record store, browsed their stuff, had a chat with the guys, and ended up picking up a original copy of Bambi on vinyl, the soundtrack from the 60s, which was the first time that the soundtrack was put out. Okay, that one's there. That's good. So now I have... Look, it was either Bambi's original score and soundtrack with things like, let's sing a gay little song, or 
Mickey Mouse Disco. <laughs> so I chose Bambi because Bambi is Bambi, and Bambi is good. Seriously, there is just no Jaxie anywhere. I'm inside Lakitu. Lakitu is just living his best life, fishing. Not a care in the world. There should be a star inside of one of these. I think it's the big one that's over here. Got him. Yeah, nice. There's a music note puzzle up there. Oh god, Mario, please. Mario, this is where his movement's a little bit too fluid. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Right, I think that's most of the Oasis then. That sand dune's a little suspicious. Nope. <clears throat> I can turn into a cactus, can I? I know there's one cactus at least that I can. Not this one. And there's a few puzzles like this that look like they need Jaxi. Including up top there. I also still need to find the other nut that I'm missing for town. This one, I believe, is the one I can become. Yep. Wandering cactus. It eventually forces you out, that's nice. There's a puzzle over here, let's go do that. Yeah, after I got the record, I went over to the camera store I frequent and I'm a fan of in town in Chicago. Oh God, death. All the way back here, okay. Woo! 
If anything, I'm just glad that it doesn't get rid of my progress that I've had so far. I don't know why I went into a roll, to be honest. I think I... Eh, did I forget how to jump? Yep, I did. I pressed the wrong button. Anyway, after I hit the record store, I went to the camera store I like in town and picked up some film I will probably never see in the wild again because of how rare and expensive it's getting. And that is some Fuji Pro... 400H. And that film is Fuji's, one of Fuji's most professional quality film stocks. It's been dead for a few years because they've discontinued it. No, please! It's been discontinued for a few years and stocks of it around the world have been getting pretty low. I've, I still have a couple boxes, a couple rolls of it in 35 format that I've gotten over the past year. So I have that to use at some point. And on this trip, I got a five-pack box, one of those big retail boxes, which I don't see too often. They had three boxes of them at the store, and I picked one up. And that will probably be the last time I ever get not just the film itself, but yes, at the last second. Okay, it did not have another one. Anyway, uh, I'm losing track of things because I'm focusing on the game again. So yeah, this rare Fuji film that's top of the line quality stuff with its formula. Like, it, it's all right as a film, in my opinion. It's good. It's not like, oh, I need this for my artwork. I'll be a genius. It's nothing like that. It's just fine but it is top-of-the-line formula stuff. And I'm glad I have it for my Mosk before camera, 120 format. And I will probably never run across this film in any format again in the wild. So, if I stumble across it in the future, cool. If not, which it probably won't, then all right. I don't know what this is. Trace walking. Oh. Seventy two, I was close. That's pretty close. 91, nice. You know, I just realized, where's Captain Toad? I haven't met him in this world yet. Oh, there's Jaxie. 
Yo, where have you been, man? How are you doing? I'm what you call a jaxi. You want to take a ride? It'll be 30 coins. I don't know what voice I want to give this guy. Maybe this one. What do you say? So, what? You're doing some sightseeing. You gotta check out the inverted pyramid. Controls are a snap. B for break. LZ. ZL for dismount, not LZ. I'll take off as soon as you're strapped in, but watch yourself. I go quick. Hey, hey, come on over. It's time for some crazy jacksy. It's party time. Let's have some fun. You have 10 crazy minutes. Go ahead and pick a car and driver. I memorized that game's dialogue too much, and I enjoy saying that stuff too. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Jaxie really doesn't stop. What the crap? I wanted him to chill out for a moment there. But yeesh, the guy does not stop. You got to pick someone up before you run out of time. Hey, 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 you're going the wrong way. Now I'm just quoting all of Crazy Taxi's entire dialogue. Okay, I can break. Do I have to dismount at the right time when I do that? Or do I have to break? Well, we'll see. Oh god, yeah, Jax is really hard to control. He does break down, break down cactuses, though. I really like the music for him, actually, though. Do -do 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 -do. It almost reminds me of Zoo Tycoon, weirdly enough. <laughs> All right, we're going to run around. Oh, God. That's one cactus he can't take care of. Yeah, the, the, whatever whatever's going on with the flute or clarinet or whatever they're using for that, it sounds like Zoo Tycoon. There we go, yep. Aw, oh, were you taking me to see my family, you old softy? Oh, I forgot I gave him a voice. I appreciate your kind gesture. Come see me anytime. Okay, so there's this, and then there's the Jaxi up on top of the pyramid, which we can fly to. Oh, no, we can't. There's actually nothing over there. Well... This one's on the ground, so that's a no. We can do this one. All right, Jaxie, get in position. I know this place, but my days of standing around are done. Jaxie's a rebel living on the edge. Oh, li literally the edge. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was a terrible joke. What the hell is that? It looks like... It looks like death. It looks like 
the, the anus of death. does this work? I need a group of Goombas here. Okay, I can just straight up jump on top of one, one another, okay. And I'm gonna die doing so. Well, that, may, that makes this whole scenario a lot more deadly. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Just get get us over there, please. Hurry. Nice. I'm going to jump in here, even though that's probably a bad idea. Oh no, it is something. Where are we? This is actually a little cumbersome. Mario, no! That was true fear. I was like, no, Mario, don't kill yourself like that! Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. 
Parkour. Playing Mirror's Edge now. We good? We're good. Okay, there's a moon. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to die there so, so much. I thought it was going to be a brutal just decapitation of him. Oh, that's another way to get to the Jaxi here. Huh. The Jaxi can cross the poison, I believe. Yeah, Jaxi's made of stone. He doesn't need to worry about biological issues like that. So, let me get him in here. What is this? Oh, good God, it's a... This brings me back to the squid racing in Mario Sunshine. Okay. Well, here we go. And we're dead. Give it another shot. Oh, we already have those. Never mind. We just need to conduct ourselves with some proper drifting. Drift. Oh, man, we missed them. There's no way I'm going for those at the moment. I'm going to go back to the music. Jaxie has his own little slight, like, tilt movement with himself, so you kind of have to really focus on straight lines because he wants to wobble from side to side. Jaxie's stunt driving. Okay, give me a break for a second. Let me take a look at what we got. Okay, we got that thin pass up there with the purple coins. Let's try that. Stay on target. We're good. I don't know what we're missing over here. I didn't take a look at it. We're missing nothing, but it's too late. Now we're just going in reverse. Yeah, I, that that really sounds like Zoo Tycoon. But da da da, but da 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 do da do. I really like Jaxie's theme. It's it's it reminds me of my childhood. Do a once around of the desert just to see if there's anything else out here. Try not to fall off the map if we can pay attention to it. That leads back into where the Olmec thing is. There's probably something in there. Right. That'll do.
You coming with me, Jaxie? Aw, oh, he didn't come with me. <clears throat> That's a lot of zombies. Well, mummies. Can we go backwards from here without using some insane parkour? Because it doesn't even look like the bullet bills reach here. I don't think so. I don't think we can really through conventional means. Can I as a bullet bill? I also just wanted to see if I could blow that up. Seems no. Yeah, I think I'm good on this place, really. Is there anything else? Maybe? No? Oh boy. They don't want us to leave. Too bad, suckers. You get to enjoy your deep sleep alone. I'm not joining you. Let's go back to the Odyssey, see if we can leave and progress. If not, we'll go to a different kingdom. A taxi, a taxi! You pulled up finally! Take me to the Metro Kingdom! Hey, you Weebota! <laughs> Sorry about the holdup, had some car trouble you would not believe. Half the car was broken under an ice sickle thing. Can't leave for the Metro Kingdom yet, though. I promise I'll get you there. I gotta device- I gotta de-ice the everything. You should have got this thing some ice insurance, buddy. We should be able to go. Sixty-five. We've hit a proverbial fork in the road. Which kingdom do you think Bowser went to? The Lake Kingdom or the Wood Kingdom? We're going to the Wood Kingdom. And I think we're going to be wrapping up here soon. He kidnapped Tiara. And now with this band, this, this band, banding, bind, bind, the bind, the, I can speak. Uh, binding band. He's got a wedding ring. Is he going to steal a whole wedding? You both are getting cucked, huh? <laughs> Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah, tutorial. 
Let's read up on the Wooded Kingdom. According to this guide, there's a giant greenhouse there filled with flowers. It's famous for its beautiful soiree bouquet. Soiree bouquet. The Wooded Kingdom. There's a lot of trees here. Oh man, we're we're on planet Wisp and Sonic Colors now. Do you hear something? Well, I don't hear the cool music this place has. Recent events have initiated my panic and spin routines. Panic and spin! A servant of the monster is illegally accessing our flower supply. During the last watering cycle, an unidentified object flew by. This rabbit's just chilling. The first blue moon. Panic and spin. Do you know of Amiibo? No. What are Amiibo? I'm just Mario. Yeah, Amiibos give you money or costumes or something in this game. I forget exactly. Look at him dance. Living his best life with the swiggity swoos. He's doing the yoinky sploinky. Oh my god, it's the Sphinx. Again. We are programmed to grow, uh, to grow flowers. The flowers are programmed to grow. Hey, Sphinx, how's it going? Greetings, traveler, and your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What? Is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? What does the monster want from this kingdom? Wood. Flowers. You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't a riddle. Anywho, proceed. I love how he just swooshes to the side. Wait a minute. I have no more questions for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's that music. There they are up there. It appears the monster minions are still on top of the tower. I worry about the flowers. We were growing up there, but what could we do? Nothing. You can't do nothing.
Ooh, we gotta bust a nut. There we go. The nut round the corner. Mmm. <laughs> Ain't that just the thing? All right, get out of this thing. Oh, I killed him. I didn't... Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. His life was pointless anyway. He was worth nothing! It was just a weird onion man. How many weird onion men have you met in your life? Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Not now! Kramer! Okay, there we go. Got our health back. Oh, good God. It's too much happening. Mario, please. Thank you. This whole chamber has been a cluster. <laughs> All right, that was that. Stuff down here almost fell off the platform. All right, I gotta fight the fire bro without Cappy. Oh, come on, Mario, get up. Thank you. Fire in the cave. All right, Cappy, come on. Hey, you're the one who didn't come with me, dude. Oh, man, all the piranha plants grew back. I don't want to die this way. No! It was bound to happen at some point. I'm getting rid of all you guys again. Because of that. You guys are a menace. I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm no. Oh, I'm Mamma Mia. Yeah, bust that nut.
Okay, so what do we got here? Can I fight as this guy? I can! Wow! <laughs> that worked! Yeah, I think I'm done for today with that. We'll continue with the Wooded Kingdom next time in the rest of the game. Flower Thieves of the Sky. But I have been at this for over three hours and I need dinner. So until next time, thank you for watching. And I'm still playing the game. I will pause the game as soon as this is done. <laughs> This game is very addicting to play. I remember that about it from the first time. Like, that's why I'm kind of surprised I haven't played it since the game came out. I was like, this was a really fun, solid game that I could not put down when it came out. And then I beat it, and then I put it down, and I never went back to it. I think just out of me not wanting to, like, burn myself out of this game entirely. I think that was a good idea, because now that coming back to it again, it's like, yeah, this is really solid. So yeah, I'm enjoying this. We'll continue next time with this. So thank you for watching. And until next time, have a good night.